What's up guys? What I wanted to do in this video is actually take a few minutes to talk to you about some of the changes that are coming up within Metasys as well as within some of the different types of hardware that is going to be available. Uh, as we all know technology changes just at an exponential rate and building automation technology is no different. I'm sure that most of you all are familiar with the NAEs and NCEs CEs currently on the market, uh, the gray boxes as some of us know them. Uh, typically one of the things that is going to be happening with these is they are going to be phased out within the next few years. Actually at the time that I'm making this video, uh, the smaller frames are it's strongly encouraged or I would strongly encourage you guys to not install any of those if you intend on upgrading your Metasys software. Uh, these are not able to be updated past 9.08 uh, version of Metasys. I know that uh, there are some sites that are starting to see a, a lot newer versions of Metasys being used so these devices cannot be updated to a lot of the newer versions uh, you know I know that uh, the, the version that we're at we have several that cannot go to it currently and we are looking at upgrading even further the larger frames the 55-3s uh, are going to be able to be upgraded however the 55-2s and 55-1s from my understanding are going to become obsolete in the near future they're not going to be able to be upgraded uh, beyond a certain point now many of you guys may be asking the question well if these are going away what are they going to be replaced with and that is these this is the SNE line from Johnson Controls uh, these are, depending on the particular one, they're approximately the size of a Jace. Uh, the SNE 2200 is actually much smaller than an NAE 55. However, it will hold virtually as many points as the NAE 55 and then so on down. Uh, my recommendation if you are going to be doing any kind of installation, say a, uh, in a new building, or if you are going to be upgrading a facility, I would go ahead and make the jump to an SNE just because of uh, the technology lifespan, I guess you could say. And plus, I think right as of right now, the prices, the price difference that we are hearing, you can actually get the newer devices cheaper than what the older ones are because they're trying to drive people away from the older devices. Now, these are, uh, there's a little bit of differences in the configuration of these, not a lot. I've not really had a lot of experience putting one in yet. We have got one on our system uh, in one of the buildings, and really, I don't really notice a lot of difference in it. I do know that from talking to technicians from JCI uh, that have experience with these, the SNCs, which are going to replace the NCEs, where they actually have hardware points, uh, you could say that Johnson Controls is going through some uh, growing pains or some trials with some of the technology that is in those currently. Uh, from what I'm being told that it's recommended basically not to go with one of them but to simply go with an SNE and put a controller underneath it instead of having a single device uh, that is a network engine as well as a controller. Uh, that is because of some of the ways that the points will function and I think that from what I'm hearing is basically it is reversing what we traditionally know as an operator override and an out of service. Uh, basically an operator override will go to uh, is being moved to an input and an out of service is being moved to an output which is just the opposite of what we're all familiar with. So that is a couple of points on these that you guys may be aware of or that you may need to be aware of. Uh, and of course something else that you need to be aware of as well um, for any of you guys that are still using the dial-in user service radius, uh, it is going to be no longer supported on at release 7. This is the technical bulletin here. So any of you guys that are still currently using that, yeah, you might want to start making considerations on what you're going to be doing going forward. Also, if you are interested in 
upgrading your system or changing your system, you know, and, and now's a good time to start making plans for the future. We all know that N2 is going away. A lot of the older legacy devices are no longer supported and they haven't been for quite some time. The newer devices will talk on an N2 trunk or an N2 network. Uh, now it's been our experience that they typically will start slowing down the N2 network. And the, you know, I can't say that for everyone, but that just seems to be our experience with them. So that's something else that you may want to consider as well. Uh, it's always a big thing as far as trying to figure in budgets uh, going forward. I know that if you can get upgrades squeezed within a budget, then that's your best option. But guys, this is just a quick video that I wanted to do. Uh, I know that there's a lot of changes coming in software and medicines and things like that. They're going to be migrating to the new user interface. Uh, it, we currently have the we are currently using it at a certain revision. Uh, another thing about that as well. The newer versions of Medesis will not run with the Visio graphics, as many of you all may be aware. So that's something else that is being phased out. They're typically going to be using a lot of the newer graphics that are uh, being generated for the UI for the MUI. Uh, Medicis user interface, the new MUI, and that is typically what they're trying to do on a lot of building setups and things like that. So if any of you guys are going to be doing graphics for any buildings or revisions, make sure that you all uh, have them to include that in your package with whatever they're going to be doing for you. But guys, this is just a quick update. I just wanted to talk to you about some of the changes that are coming in uh, Medicis and things like that. Uh, if you guys have any questions, I'll try to answer what I can down in the comments below. Just so, just you know, leave me a comment down there in the description or down below the description, and I'll do what I can to answer some of those. But I'm just passing along a little bit of the information that I have, um, and I know that there's a lot that just continuously changes all the time. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. If you want to help support the channel, uh, please visit the links down below. And anything you purchase from any of those affiliate links down below on Amazon, we get a small commission. It kind of helps to keep this channel going. But guys, thanks for watching. Check out the rest of the videos on the channel. Check out the links in the description, and we will see you next time.